Junim is a feature-rich, highly productive web development framework uh, for the Julia programming language. Despite uh, being um, uh, version 1, it is mature software. Its first commit was in January 2016 and has since then amassed over 1,000 commits over more than 50 releases from 28 contributors. Uh, Gini's own uh, best features include uh, excellent development productivity, security and performance by default, uh, simple recipes for uh, deployment, as well as cost-effective maintenance for the long term, as well as API stability, good documentation and extensive tests. Getting started with Gini is very simple. Um, because it's a pure Julia library and it has a philosophy of only providing core functionality um, on, its, on its own with optional uh, plugins for enhanced functionality, adding Genie and building our first application, it's simply a matter of uh, adding the package and getting started at the REPL or writing uh, simple scripts. Creating a um, Genie application can be as simple as uh, this uh, Hello World. All we need to do is reference the Gini router and then define a route, in this case, uh, the root, uh, which takes a handler function, which outputs the hello world string. Then we call the up function, which uh, has the role of starting the server, and that's it. Then we're ready to access our uh, application on the web. If you want to bootstrap a quick REST API, all we need to do is reference the JSON renderer, define the root as, as we need it, and then uh, we can um, output complex objects uh, Taking things to the next level, if you want to persist our application and go beyond the REPL, the next step would be to just create a simple script. For instance, we define um, a small simple view using uh, Genie's templating language, define a root which handles the request, and then start the server. We can start the script uh, using uh, Julia at the, um, at the command line, and then we can access the result in the web browser. The Genie applications run correctly in interactive notebooks as well. In this example, we can see Genie being uh, used as a um, static web server. Creating a Genie app is as simple as calling Genie new app and passing in the name of the application that we want to create. The resulting application will look like this, and we can easily recognize the familiar project and manifest tonal files, the git ignore and the git attributes files, um, while uh, routes uh, is the main entry point into our application. We can also see the public folder, which is meant for um, containing uh, uh, static assets which are being exposed on the web. Uh, we have a source folder, a uh, configuration folder, as well as a bin, which includes a various script for starting up uh, the Genie application. If we check out the public folder, uh, we can see that it already comes with uh, robots.txt and the favicon file, um, as, as well as with the uh, most common error pages. And Genie comes with predefined, optimized uh, configurations for the various environments, including dev, prod, and test, uh, with the secrets file, which uh, is used for um, um, including, in, encrypting the, the, the data in Genie, as well as with the, an initializer folder uh, where we can place uh, scripts that we want to be executed uh, early when the application is being started. To illustrate the best practices by default uh, philosophy in Gini, uh, here's an example which illustrates um, the uh, development and the production um, environment files. Uh, where we can see how they are optimized for their uh, respective needs. Uh, for example, in uh, development, we have uh, logging uh, set up to info. Um, we do not log to file because everything goes into the console and we use the Genie web server to handle the static files. Also revises uh, on. However, in production, uh, we want only to log errors. We uh, log two files uh, and we disable uh, the um, handling of the um, server static files, which uh, normally in production should be uh, done by uh, proxy, for example, Apache or Nginx. Uh, also, uh, in production, we want to uh, disable revise. One of the important philosophies in Genie is the modular approach and the fact that the applications can start small, but then uh, we can grow them and we can add more support as uh, our development needs grow. For example, it is very easy to add um, uh, database support uh, and um, manage our databases through uh, the Searchlight ORM uh, by simply invoking Genie Generator DB support. 
A very powerful feature of uh, Genie are the compiled templates. It's uh, view template engines, uh, which allows us to render um, the data on the web um, using a um, high performance, very flexible and powerful uh, rendering engine. These views are hierarchical, means that, meaning that we can nest um, multiple views in order to uh, reuse the logic, starting with an outer um, <coughs> layout and uh, using views and view partials inside. Views do not use string parsing. Instead, uh, they generate uh, native Julia code, uh, native Julia functions, which are loaded into the, the module, into the context where the code is being uh, executed. Um, the views are quite uh, quite flexible. They allow us to embed uh, uh, Julia blocks of code as well as um, interpolate the Julia variables. And uh, we can use uh, an HTML-like um, the templates um, as well as uh, markdown or we can um, use uh, directly uh, the uh, the genie html api uh, which allows us to write uh, view templates in pure julia this is an example of an html based uh, view uh, template in genie this is what the uh, pure julia templates look like uh, genie exposes a, a rich api which maps um, all the HTML elements. Um, also, there's uh, support for um, Markdown-based uh, view templates. Uh, here, for example, we have um, Markdown code with the interpolated uh, Julia values. Uh, here we have a larger block of, uh, of Julia code. And uh, we can also um, uh, define the configuration variables uh, Genie applications also implement uh, security best practices by default. As such, Genie exposes uh, an, encryption, an encryption API, which can be deployed by the users to encrypt uh, data in Genie. Uh, also, each application comes with a randomly generated secret token, which is used for uh, encrypting the data. By default, the session data and the cookie data is being encrypted. Genie makes uh, deployments easy uh, through its uh, deploy module. It provides uh, built-in containerization support for Docker with the Genie Deploy Docker module, making it very easy to set up development environments uh, or to use uh, Docker for production deployments. Um, it has also been tested uh, to run very well behind Nginx and uh, Apache proxies. Genie's modular uh, approach um, allows us to create uh, powerful and useful um, uh, plugins in order to bundle functionality that can be reused. Uh, at this moment, uh, Genie offers a database-based authentication plugin, as well as an auto-reload uh, feature to automatically load the, the web pages in the browser when the source code changes. I hope uh, now you have a good idea of how Genie can help you develop um, uh, fast performance, secure web application and services. Thank you for watching.